millennials, Kirby's generation, the best generation in the world. <laughs> I'm Gen Z. This is probably worse for me for my generation, but up here. Uh, guys, we're going to be talking about this. Many millennials think that all student loans should be forgiven and that you have to make $525,000 to be financially secure. That is insane. Many millennials are delusional. I agree with that. I agree with that part right there. Um, student loans. We've talked about this, Kirby. I mean, accountability. If you know it costs money to get a student loan or to get an education, I should say, then expect to pay it. I mean, yes, there's other countries that have free education, but then they have higher taxes or their government structure is different. So if you want to use the education system in a country like the United States, understand the accountability you have to have and responsibility that comes with it. Um, over half a million dollars be financially secure is crazy. Uh, I, 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 that one, it blows my mind. And, and really, I think that people like, and we see this all the time. People have such an entitled view on what kind of life they should live. Not understanding that you can live lower than that comfortably but people want these high standards. They have a, um, what is it that you say, Kirby? It's like a million dollar vision with a, like a minimum wage budget, budget or something. Yeah, it's like, right. like they, 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 and that they, they are so delusional in that fact. Like it, they're so out of touch with reality. Like I see this with people wanting to buy a house. They want like a completely modern upgraded house because it's the new thing a brand new house and they're making like $16 an hour. It's like, you got to go with what you can afford, but I'll let, I'll hand it off to you, Kirby. So I don't go down a rabbit. Well, let's, let's break it down. Let's break it down. All right. So first thing, millennials think all student loans should be forgiven. All right. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give some people a pass. The people I'm going to give a pass. If you was born in the 19, 19- 70s 1980s i'm gonna give you a pass only reason why i'm gonna give you a pass is because we you know we was taught by you know um the baby boomers you know those was the working class blue collar job people and they didn't want their kids to have to bust their knuckles doing blue collar jobs and said hey you need to get an education i get it you know whatever parents say goes and they it wasn't that much information out there you know the government you had a you know a, a good uh ploy or good um cloak and dagger mentality when it came to the realities of student loans but now millennials you have all the information at the touch of your hand you know all of the pitfalls, ramifications, and horror stories about taking out student loans. But yet, you still do it. You do it, and then you want to get bailed out from a decision that you was well-informed on, and you still chose to go that route. Maybe your parents told you, oh, yeah, you got to get an education. But now you have the information. And then, so, no, I don't believe student loans should be forgiven. Uh, because... That was a choice. And I know people are going to say, well, they made the decisions at 19. I made the decision to go fight in wars at 19. Nobody ain't saying, oh, all the soldiers should, all the soldiers that went at 19 years old since they sacrificed their life for this country, they should never have to work again. They should be compensated for the rest of their life because of the decision they made. So I don't want to hear that. Um, then go to the next thing. $525,000 a year for people that don't know and and it's excuse me and that is trapped in the social media world thinking the social media world is real life $525,000 a year that puts you at the top 1% of income earners in the United States it's not $5 million a year it's not Warren Buffett's money it's not Elon Musk's money $525,000 a year and Alex maybe you could put up the tax brackets there 
that puts you at the top 1% of income earners in the United States. So millennials think you have to be a top 1% earner in the United States just to be financially secure. That's not true. We just did a previous video. Alex, you and your wife combined don't make $500,000 a year. Y'all don't even make $250,000 a year from your job. You don't even make $200,000 a year from your job. But you live a very financially secure life. The problem with that is millennials, they believe social media life is the life. That is reality. They believe, oh, I should be able to make $525,000 because I should be able to fly first class and private jets all over the place. When me and you have way more money than them and we over here trying to find economy, economy seats. Don't, don't upgrade us to economy plus. The plane gonna get there at the same time, so why pay more money? But but that's what they think. The social media world has skewed people's view on life tremendously. And it's it's a sad state of affairs that people would believe that $525,000, $525,000, you're living way above comfortable in California. I mean, just living, not waking up, living in a mansion, going to clubs, hanging out with celebrities and all that other stuff. You can make that money. You can make way less than that and have a comfortable life. I make that and and I still don't spend, I don't even spend 50% of it. I don't even, let's be honest. I, I don't even spend 75% of it and I still live a comfortable life. You don't need that money to do all that stuff. I mean, you don't ever see me posting pictures of private jets, Lamborghinis, staying at the Burj Khalifa in Dubai or anything else. I make the money because I sacrifice for the money. But just because I sacrifice for the money, that don't mean, oh, let's just go, let's just go show the world what we got, what go show the world what it's all about. On this channel, we just speak reality. Reality, you can live comfortably making a hundred thousand dollars. You can live comfortably me making less than that. It's the priorities where you want to put the money at. The reason why they need five hundred twenty-five thousand dollars because they want to go go to the clubs three times a week, buy top shelf liquor. They want to go stay at five star resorts because that's what the TikTok people making people believe that's how life is lived. But no, nobody's nobody's doing it. Nobody, nobody, nobody in reality is living that life. And I blame a lot of it on social media, but I also blame the parents that have their kids believing that this is the life. Just because you see it on TV, that don't mean it's <laughs> it's reality. And that's all social media is, TV. Because most of these people that's out there flexing really don't have the money. A lot of these cars that they're showing is rented and things like that. And they just believe, oh yeah, this is true. Nobody don't know what they're talking about because it's not. if it's not on YouTube, it's not true. So that's the millennials. They are delusional, highly delusional. And what do they, do they want a, a universal income of $525,000? If that happens, then to live comfortably, it's going to be $1.5, $1.8 million. Because if the universal income is $525,000, you, you think the people that have assets like you and I are going to just let people just walk around $525,000 in their pocket and not try to take a chunk of it? The cost of everything will go up. They, they are highly delusional in their thinking and mindset. It might be. But Alex, yeah. these, these are your people. So No, nah, these are your people, man. $525,000. <laughs> if I made that, I would stop avoiding going out to eat with Kirby. So let's make that a goal, guys. It, let's get me there. <laughs> but, but, uh, but, man, that's, yeah, that's that's a lot. And especially when you were saying, like, my wife and I, um, like, with everything combined, we're probably, at, like, at 150 everything combined and we live very comfortably like and it's not the income it's keeping our expenses low like not constantly upgrading life expenses because the lower your expenses the more money you're holding the more money you're bringing in or not even bringing in the more money you're just able to keep and really like when I, it, you start to feel, I would say like maybe you start to feel financially comfortable 
when like going on a vacation doesn't seem like a big expense like you could just go when you want to and a lot of people can't do that and you know like i know you always tease at it like people that have to like save for a vacation like for a year and a half down the road it's like once you get to the point where you can just like hey let's go next week like it's at, by that point it's like it feels financially liberating but the idea that you have to make half a million to feel financially secure i mean the lifestyle you can have from that it just that's not required as like you don't need that kind of lifestyle that's not what financial security is it's just being able to live comfortably being able to live okay and not in poverty but but yeah let's uh yeah but <clears throat> but no it's, it's one more thing when you said yeah. that i make fun of the, the payment plan vacations yes i do make fun of them i, n I never did them I mean, I've heard a lot about them. People like, hey, let's go on a cruise. The first payment's due at the end of the month. No, no, no. That means I can't afford to go. And I, I've seen it so many times where people do these payment plan vacations. They don't end up going. Or they still ain't budget their money. Or they go spend their rent money or their light bill money or whatever to go on this trip. They go live their best life for, you know, five, seven days. And then they come back and they want to call me to give them sob stories oh my rent's about to be my uh i'm about to get evicted from a place because i can't pay my rent or my lights about to get cut off because i can't pay my lights like i just didn't see you on social media turning up at the at the cruise lounge and all the food and the places you just seen like i supposed to be oblivious to that and just say okay well let me go finance your bad decisions and bail you out again no i'm not bailing you out if you got to have a payment plan to go on a vacation, then you shouldn't be going. If you don't have the money saved up to go and pay it in one fell swoop, you shouldn't go. People can hate me for it or whatever. That's exactly 100% how I feel because I ain't doing a payment plan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and like you say, you don't even spend like 75% of what you make. The only time you see Kirby's money is when he's getting white chocolate frappuccino he's got sushi that's the only time it's, due. <laughs> it's the only time you see his money when you're at a restaurant like, oh all right <laughs> but but yeah guys hope we broke those myths for you i hope it i hope people know that's not realistic but with all that being said guys let us know what you think down below hit the like button share this video subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one